Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, and today I'm sharing ways you can turn Dollar Tree items into high-end farmhouse decor. So let's get into the video. one I decided to use this fox sign and some scrapbook paper the sign is from Dollar Tree I've had this for quite a while and I'm really just trying to use a ton of items up and I thought that some scrapbook paper and a rub-on transfer would be super cute for this one so I'm just using my good old glue stick for this I love using the Elmer's glue sticks especially when there is that purple on there because you can see what you're gluing down. So I just cut the scrap of paper to size and I flipped it over and it was so much easier to do it that way and figure out exactly the size it needed. These rub-on transfers are from Amazon, but you can get them at other places as well. It's by Re Prima Design and I will link them for you if I can find them. I found a ton last year and I have yet to use them all. I actually just found them. I totally forgot about them. I have like pigs, lamb, roosters, all kinds of chickens and they're super cute to use. So I just put that right in the center of the sign and that was it for this. This is so cute and you cannot even tell that this sign was from Dollar Tree and it was a little fox. You would have never have guessed. DIY is this photo frame and I really like these because the glass is see-through but you can pull them apart on the back side just like a regular frame and just peel that little sticker off. I'm going to be using another one of those rub-on transfers by Re Prima Design and these were all roosters and chickens and I thought these were so pretty and I only have a couple left but I just want to show you guys like what you can do with some of these because sometimes I think they run between like $10 and $15 for a pack of them but you get quite a few and you can do a ton of different DIYs with them but these are just the simplest ways to do it. You can actually add these to furniture or dressers. I actually have or I'm working on some thrifted makeovers with some like side tables and I will be using rub-on transfers for those, which I am super excited for. Those just take me a little bit longer to do. So those are in the works, but they will be coming out hopefully in the month of February. So I'm just using the little crafter stick that these rub-on transfers came with. That is all I did for this one. And this barely cost me any money at all. Way to use these rub-on transfers is with a sign like this. It works really well even though it does have those little cracks or ridges in the sign. Uh, this one is the lambs. This is also Re Prima Design and no I'm not sponsored in any way. I totally wish because I like to use these all the time but I'm just laying this lamb here. I have done different DIYs and if I can find a rub-on transfer video. I'll link them in the description box below, but honestly, they're kind of just scarce throughout all of my videos because I use them quite often, normally with farmhouse DIYs. But once this was all rubbed on, I tried to peel these off very slowly in case I have to press them back down and rub the transfer on again, just in case it doesn't work or go the way I want. But these don't take very long to do at all. I would say 20 seconds of rubbing everything on and this is what I did for this one. I think this turned out really cute. I'm loving these new Dollar Tree signs. I think they look very high end. This one, I'm gonna be using this ceramic house ornament. Maybe it's not even an ornament, but this is from Dollar Tree in these black wooden beads that are also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be making a cute little garland or a little, what are we going to call this? Like a little tassel. I'm not making a tassel. I am terrible at tassels. I'm just making a cute little piece and I'm using a Chalk Couture silk screen transfer. This one it says Home Sweet Farm and I am just using the chalk paste in the color velvet. And I will link the Chalk Couture website in the description box below for you guys if you want to check them out. I am absolutely obsessed and I love using Chalk Couture as well as rub-on transfers. These rub-on transfers are from Dollar Tree a couple years ago. I haven't seen anything like this since, but I still am holding on to a couple of these just bits and pieces here and there that I can find. And I'm just adding that to the house just to give it a little bit of color. And that is all I did for this. I 
really cute pack of silkscreen transfers on Amazon, and I'll link it for you in the description box below. But you get quite a few different sheets of transfers, but this one was my favorite. I decided to use four of these houses, and in a recent video, I also did something very similar. But this cow one says life is better on the farm. This was my absolute favorite one, along with the pig that came with it as well. And this says farm life. I love these. These kind of remind me of stencils you can purchase, but I am not the best at working with regular stencils. I feel like I always have bleed through no matter what I do. So I always go for the silk train transfer because they are sticky on the back. You peel them off, you wash them when you are done, and you can put them right back in the package like they were and you can reuse them multiple times. So I am just doing four of them in this four pack, and I think this is just a really cool thing to do, and it looks super high-end, and I have these all over my house. I love these houses. I think these are very pretty, so if you guys can find these at Dollar Tree, I would definitely be picking them up. But I love revealing and pulling off that silkscreen transfer. I think you always get a high-end look for less. So they can be a little pricey at times, but I feel like if you can use them multiple times and make multiple projects, you're not really spending like $10 on a silkscreen transfer if you make a ton of different items. So I've used these a couple times and I plan to use them more as well because I can always put them in different parts of my home or you can sell them. I always have a yard sale, but you could always just sell these too. So if you do a craft show, this is a really quick DIY to do and you could sell them for more than $1.25 for these houses. They are absolutely adorable. a DIY, I'll be using one of these houses from Dollar Tree in these rub-on transfers. I have seen these recently, but I know I picked some up last year, but I think these are so pretty. They look good for spring, but I think they look great also for farmhouse decor. So I just cut the rub-on transfer to size on this house, and I didn't do it all the way to the top because I'm just going to be adding that roof right back to the top of this. I like that black color. You could always change it up if you chose to. Maybe a pink would look really pretty with this transfer, but I just went with what it what it looked like before I found these really cute pieces from Dollar Tree as well this one it says blessed and I just stuck it to the middle and that is it for this These are a couple more silkscreen transfers that I picked up off Amazon. I am honestly obsessed with searching Amazon for new silkscreen transfers. These are absolutely adorable. I did kind of mess up just a little bit on these. They did have a tiny bit of bleed through because I didn't push them on enough and they were a little bit bubbly from using the round ear, but you can do it. I don't know why I didn't pay more attention that mine were just a tiny bit bubbly. Uh, but I'm just using that chalk couture chalk paste in the color velvet. I've had multiple questions if you can find chalk paste somewhere else. And I know they sell it on Amazon, but I don't know the quality of it or how long it will last. And at least with chalk couture, you know that as soon as you open it, you have a good six months or longer before it does go bad. So at least I know how long, and if you just buy a l one chalk paste, a little bit goes a long way. You can make so many different projects. I've only gone through a few jars in the last couple of years. So you don't have to spend a ton of money on it unless you're doing like huge, huge projects. So for these little jars, I decided to shove in some burlap so you could not see the stems of my florals and greenery. And I just shoved some lamb's ear and some lavender and some really cute spring florals into these. And that's all I did for this. I did keep the lids just in case I wanted to go back and actually like add things uh, that would go in a kitchen. But I think these are so pretty. This one has some eucalyptus in it, which this is from Walmart. And of course, those little cute fuzzy spring flowers that are from the Dollar Tree. That is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.